Hi everybody, welcome back. We're checking in on our hydroponic tomatoes today. This is the second form of hydroponics I've discussed before, which is growing in a mixture of perlite and coconut husks or cocoa coir, which you can purchase off of Amazon. Um, it's an alternative to, to regular soil or any of the dirt you buy at the big box places. Today, we're gonna be going over trimming our plants. It is very important for you to trim your plants. Doing this will help the plant to focus its energy on the higher branches, which produce the, the bigger, better fruit. These little ones down here, this plant does look very lush and very, very beautiful. And you're probably wondering, why would I cut this plant? Why would I trim this? Um, but the truth is that these bottom branches are never gonna produce very much. These are what we call suckers. They will just kind of make the plant maintain them and keep them alive, but they're not gonna give me anything of importance. No, they're never gonna bear any fruit. So I'm just gonna give the plant a little haircut and they love this. So don't get sad when you do it. We're gonna start at the bottom and we are going to cut the bottom branches, leaves, um, and just pull them off. The other benefit that this does for the plant is it allows more air circulation towards the base. That uh, prevents a lot of problems like powder mildew and all kinds of things. Something else great about coco coir is it does have pest repellent properties that dirt does not have. Another good thing about it is that you know exactly what you're growing in. It's sterile, you can reuse it. And sometimes when you buy a bag of dirt at the big box stores, you can actually bring home some pests with you that you don't even know about that are in that dirt. And they can lie dormant in there. Uh, bugs and, and pests can lay dormant in your soil for a long time. And this just kind of ensures that I'm not bringing any pests into my plants. Another thing this does is if you do grow in soil and you do see a lot of aphids or caterpillars, cutting the bottom branches prevents those um, little caterpillars and aphids from climbing up. So it'll help. It won't get rid of them, but it'll definitely help. All right, I'm gonna leave the top branches. I'm gonna let them mature a little more and let this plant start focusing its energy up here instead of down here. And that's my uh, conclusion to trimming your plants and maintaining them. It's very important. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like what I've been posting and it's interesting to you, please like and subscribe and I'll keep uh, posting tips on gardening. Thanks a lot, bye.